Hey, how you guys doing, man? Smoothly here. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. I know I'm having a good day. It's another beautiful day out here in Las Vegas. It's a, it's a gorgeous day. It's a lovely day. I want to thank all you guys for coming back, watching my videos. I truly appreciate you guys very much. I want to say big up to the New York Knicks. I know we got a lot of New York Knicks haters out there, but remember, man, we've been suffering for years, and it's good to see that New York Knicks is doing what they're doing right now. Are they overachieving or are they underachieving? I say that we are underachieving. You know, so far, we are without key players, you know? We got Philadelphia out the way. Everybody thought that we weren't going to make it out the first round, but we did. Now we have Indiana that we're going to be taking care of business. But, you know, this is not what this video is really going to be about. You know, I had to do a voiceover here on this video. While I was out there running around with my daughter in the park, the wind started blowing a little stronger. So, you know, the wind was kind of distorting this fabulous, smooth Caribbean accent here. <laughs> Let me just stop joking around there, man. But no, seriously. I want to talk about this so this lady here can understand who left a comment on the last video that I put out where I was talking about how brothers are representing well over there in the Philippines. Well, this lady here probably went and started looking at um, some of these brothers YouTube channel and find out that they have a light skinned Filipino wives on their side. So her comment was, why is it that you black man here in America, you choose to want to go with the white women or the lighter shade of women and not the sisters. And you guys are going overseas and carrying that same attitude with you all, picking light skinned women over the darker skinned women. I'm not going to regurgitate what I have done before a couple of years ago on my videos, but I'm just gonna touch upon it a little bit. Since she she found my channel and she started watching it on the low low. I am with my wife because of who she is, what she represent, how she matches my attitude and the values that she bring to this relationship. We talk about the life that we wanted to live together. We talk about how we do want to raise a family together and how we want to proceed in life. The things that we're looking for, the things that we, we want to achieve in life. She was perfect. Now, just to give this lady here a little bit of insight, since she's lazy, she don't want to go back and watch some of my old videos. I said this before. Being with a Filipino woman was never a dream of mine. It wasn't a choice of mine. I was always into my thick Caribbean women or my thick American women. Take a look at this picture here. This is when I first met my wife. She don't have the curves where I like the curves to be, but she's beautiful. Damn. Hard body and sexy, but she was too white for me. But then I started talking to her more, getting to know her a little bit more, understand where she was coming from. We basically grew up in different parts of the world, but we grew up the same way, was raised the same way, have the same type of values. So I overlook her light skin. I overlook her not having the curves because she was the perfect woman for me. And that's the reason why I end up marrying my beautiful wife. I don't know what to tell you about why those other brothers end up with those light-skinned Filipino women over there in the Philippines. But I think I know why. The same exact thing that I see in my wife is the same exact thing that these brothers saw in their wives. That's why they marry those women. So sister, my beautiful black sister, whosoever you are, that doesn't mean because we end up with a woman who doesn't look like our mothers and sisters and aunts, 
That doesn't mean that we don't love our black sisters. That don't mean that we don't care about our black mothers. We choose to be with these women because of how they treat us. We choose to be with these women because certain things that we might have going on with us, they overlook those things. They look beyond those things and they look within. They find out that we are the kind of man that they truly want to be with. Now I know your comeback is going to be about, well, they're only with you because of what you can do for them. Well, we can say the same thing about you looking for a man here in America who have a lot of money and can do a lot of things for you. It happens all over the world. So I truly don't know what to tell you. I don't think I can continue on with this conversation here because, you know, I think this conversation has been had so many times before and it's really kind of tiresome of us brothers have to keep explaining ourselves to, you know, some of you sisters. But I, I truly don't know what else to say. You know, I'm just hoping that you find your peace. Truly. I'm praying for you. But like I always say to all my regular subscribers, it is always peace and love. Peace and love. Yo, sister man, you know something? If you're so angry at brothers for the kind of woman that we're ending up with in life, why don't you go see if you can date an Asian guy or a Mexican guy or a white guy if we're not available for you? Nothing's wrong with that. Maybe you need to give that a try and then just stop worrying about the kind of women them that we end up with in life because those are the kind of women who treat us the way that we want to be treated like. But I'm sorry. Like I said, find your peace, sister. Find your peace. All right, man. Peace on out. Peace on out.